C++. For this purpose, let's start by creating a new project. Selecting console application matrix edition. Okay, save the project. Save the main file. Let us start using namespace standard. First of all, understand the logic of program. Let's suppose we have matrix 1 that has order of 2 or we can say that 2 into 3, any order may be 2 into 3, where 2 is the number of rows and 3 is the number of column. The matrix, this matrix representation will as follows. A, B, C, D, E, F. These are the variables A, B, C, D, E, F that may any value representing these identifiers. And other matrix that can be called as matrix 2, it may be also of order 2 by 3. For the addition purpose, these two matrices must be of same order. <coughs> it may be J, J, K, T, U, M, etc. And the sum of matrices will be A plus G. B plus J and so on and so on uh, C plus K T plus D E plus U and M plus F so let's start by implementation of this program in the source code we have to get two matrices let's suppose mat1 of order 2 by 3 here 2 is the number of rows and 3 is the number of columns. It means it is in the order of 2 by 3. Okay, we are going to initialize this matrix. Let's suppose this may be 4, 6, 2 and the first row is completed. Then the second row may be 7, 1, 1. This is the matrix of 2 by 3. Each entry is representing a single row where <coughs> in each entry, each element is representing a column value. We can also duplicate this matrix for the initialization of matrix 2. We can say this, this is the matrix 2 of the same order. Values can also be changed for 6, etc. We can change randomly 7, 1, 2, etc. Or any other value can be taken. Okay. Now we are going to displaying this these matrices. Matrix A or matrix 1 or we can say that first matrix okay for the matrix uh, displaying we are using iterations or nested iterations for single dimensional array or linear array we use simple single loop and for two dimensional array and its representation we use nested loop let's suppose we are using for loop i is equal to 0 i is less than number of rows we have to use first outer loop or iteration for the number of rows here the number of rows are two that's why we will use here two i plus plus in the same order we will write other loop for the column interpretation for j is equal to zero j is less than three j plus plus inner loop is used to manipulate identify or calculate or implement columns 
so it will complete iterations three because there are three columns in each row one two and three okay in loop we have only to display matrix values let's suppose this is mat one uh, i g okay we use here escape sequence backslash t for proper representation okay this is the first matrix we can copy paste this code this may be called second matrix only we have to change here the identifier name mat2 okay second matrix matrix we have to use here in the outer loop inner loop will print or display the complete one row when the one row will be displayed we have to switch to another row for the better representation that's why we are using endl here okay endl will change the row and second row will print in the second row okay compile this code this code is uh, saying that unexpected 2 by 3 uh, before token here 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 we have to place uh, separate the initialization by comma okay compiling it again the compilation process is done successfully run this code okay first uh, two elements are appearing in the statement after the matrix so that we have to show here and then and also we have to show here handle okay compile it again run the code now we can see that here two matrices first matrix have containing the row 4 6 2 7 1 1 4 6 2 7 1 1 second row 4 6 3 first row and 7 1 2 is the second row of second matrix okay now we are going to displaying or calculating its sum of these two matrices we are copying this code again because we are required same number of iterations for the submission of matrix we just say that uh, out mat1 i mat i and j element of mat1 plus i and j element of mat2 add it and display it oh, oh that's so much simple we only required here to mention that we are going not only to represent either mat1 value or mat2 we are going to represent the summation of these two matrices index values okay now let's compile it uh, we can uh, change here the caption we say that uh, sum of matrices okay compile it again the code is compiled successfully running the code okay we can see here 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 6 plus 6 is 12 2 plus 3 is equal to 2 here is the complete demonstration of how calculation is performed or how addition in two matrices is done we can say that here 1 plus 2 that is equivalent to 3 we can also consider that 7 plus 7 is equivalent to 4 each and every individual index <coughs> Of the matrix 1 will be add up to the matrix 2 similar index now let's move to the code again we here provide complete description that how matrices are added here is the input representation of the first matrix and uh, representation of the second matrix and the simple addition of these two matrix and other method in over the web is uh, also we can see that here they introduce third matrix that can be said as 
mat3 or matrix3 that is used to store the sum of these two matrices and then display use another iteration for displaying the matrix elements of third matrix we can also use this method but in this code in this video we are going to demonstrate a simple way that how we can calculate and display sum of two matrices in simplest way with the ease of code with the minimal of instructions or iterations we can also take input in each and individual index of the matrix by using the scene statement then the iterations will be repeated Okay.